Hi, everyone. My name is Sheila. I'm a senior trade officer based in the Consulate General of Canada in Brazil. I cover the ICT sector in this country. I prepared this video for Canadian clients taking part in the collision project in 2021. As we just have a very short time to talk about the Brazilian ICT market, I'm going to use this video as a teaser for you. If you are interested in getting more information about this market after seeing this video, you can always get in contact with me through my email, which is sheiladantas.santos at international.gc.ca. So let's start with a quick overview of the Brazilian ICT market. In 2019, the Brazilian ICT market including telecommunications, represented 2% of the ICT market worldwide with $48.4 billion, which represented 42.9% of Latin America's market. By the way, any figures provided here will be in American dollars, okay? So it accounted for 6.8% of the Brazilian GDP. <clears throat> for the third year, Brazil remained the seventh largest ICT producer in the world, just ahead of Canada, that was in the eighth position, according to IDC and Brascom. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic caused a recession in Brazil in 2020 as it did in so many other countries. <clears throat> and consequently, the drop in business investment and household consumption had a direct, direct negative impact on the ICT market growth. Fitch Solutions estimates the ICT market grew by 3.9% in local currency terms in 2020. <clears throat> But due to depreciation of the Brazilian real against the U.S. dollar, the ICT market shrank by 21.1% in U.S. dollar terms. The imposition of mobility restrictions and social distancing measures at the city and state level means that there were increases in more in remote work and study in 2020, which triggered purchase of notebooks and tablets, as well as the use of the internet for virtual classes, video conferences, e-commerce, etc. There was also an immediate boost to cloud migration momentum. Now, for 2021, <laughs> the ICT market growth is forecast to accelerate in Brazil as the economic environment becomes more supportive, when ICT vendors will be able to profit from an upturn in sentiment in private and household sectors. From 20 22, <clears throat> the growth dynamic will be based on private and public sector investment on modernization initiatives with additional momentum due to accelerated digitization and cloud migration trends in the wake of the pandemic. An IDC prediction study, which anticipates market trends and movements, foresees an increase of 7% of the information and communications technology segment in Brazil in 2021. The increase is forecast at 11% for the ICT sector and at 2% for the telecommunications sector. For the corporate segment, which includes software, hardware, and services, IDC Brazil forecasts the growth of 10%. Increases should be especially boosted by the consolidation of digital transformation technologies, such as artificial intelligence, IoT, big data and analytics, among others. Priorities are to increase productivity, reduce costs, balance digital and physical, 
improve products and services, and improve customer acquisition and retention. According to IDC, at the beginning of 2020, 60% of companies based in Brazil were interested in expanding investments in ICT. With the pandemic, this interest fell, but in 2021, companies seem to be more optimistic. According to this consultancy, 50% of the companies are already considering increasing their investments in the sector again. Now, I'm going to list 10 trends identified by IDC for Brazil in 2021. Number one, the 5G segment is in growth. The sector should generate $2.7 billion in new business in 2021 and 2022. <clears throat> Connectivity is number two. <clears throat> the COVID-19 pandemic has increased the importance of connectivity. Number three is edge. It has become the preferred technology for process automation. Number four, cloud. The cloud is a quick way to increase IT operational resilience. Number five, artificial intelligence. From business applications to security solutions, this technology is essential to handle large volumes of information. Number six, security. The increase in spending on security solutions in 2021 will make the segment exceed $900 million in Brazil. Number seven, general data protection law. Data protection must gain attention with the needs brought by LGPD, the law that entered into force last year on September 18th. Number eight, cloud management. Almost 43% of companies intending to bring some of their management systems to the cloud in the next two years. Number nine, smartphones. The search for more functional and intelligent homes will make the home automation sector turn over more than $291 million in 2021 in Brazil. And number 10, notebooks and tablets. Retail and demand for home office will make the segment turn over $4.7 billion in 2021. Now, for your information, I have just concluded writing a market report for the ICT sector in Brazil. This report covers six subsectors and verticals, which are very important in Brazil. So now let me list them. These are the sectors and uh, subsectors and verticals covered by me in this report. Number one, artificial intelligence and big data analytics. Number two, Internet of Things. Three, telecommunications. Four, connected and autonomous vehicles. Five, advanced manufacturing or industry 4.0. Number six, agriculture 6.4.0. <laughs> in this report, I have also covered a very hot topic in the Brazilian market nowadays, which is LGDP. In other words, the Brazilian General Data Protection Law. If you want to learn more about any of these topics, feel free to get in contact with me. I will repeat my email for you sheiladantas.santos at international.gc.ca. I wish you all great B2B meetings during the Collision Project, especially with the Brazilian delegates. Good luck.